as far as my education goes, I have a wonderful dermatologist that I sought out. Once I realized I had atopic dermatitis, I had met many doctors, but I looked specifically for one that um, dealt with atopic dermatitis patients. Um, when I found this specific physician, he was excellent. He said, I'll do whatever, let's do this. He had a plan. He had written care plans. He was very informative. So that is the first line that is your physician. The second is as far as support and uh, educating myself, there is a, an association, the atopic or the eczema association, National Eczema Association, that's excellent. There's a website. This is very informative. I would recommend anyone with atopic dermatitis to go to that website. They give information about what medications help them, what didn't, and I think it's fabulous that we have that now for people to go to. Those would be my sources of where I would go for information. As far as my coping mechanisms, I think I'm just tough. I have to say, I grew up in the country on a farm. I had five brothers, and I really learn to cope with things. Uh, you have to in those situations. So for me, I tend to do it without asking for a lot of help. My family is extremely supportive. Unfortunately, they're all physicians. My sons, my daughter-in-law, and my husband. So they are overly sensitive to my needs. And so I try to prevent them from knowing everything, which is probably part of my own thing. But they, if I ever said, you know, I'm really having issues with my skin today, can we do this another day? They would absolutely, because they, they do have an understanding. They see me, they usually ask me and say, oh, your skin looks bad, how are you doing? But I think anyone needs supportive individuals that are around you all the time. So you have to have a supportive physician. You have to have supportive family members to get through this. And you have to just realize that it's part of life.